this is CSEC January 2024 Mathematics Paper 2. CSEC 2024 Maths Paper 2. Question 3. In a triangle, in triangle ABC, AC equal 8 centimeters and BC equal 5 centimeters. Using a ruler and compasses only, construct triangle ABC. The line AB has been drawn for you. So we can see line AB. And to construct triangle ABC, the line segment AC must be 8 centimeters. So we measure, as we, we are seeing on the screen, we measure with a compass 8 centimeters. Then we put a compass point at A. We put a compass point at A, and then we draw an arc like this then BC must be 5 centimeters so that's what we are going to do we measure 5 centimeters on the ruler as we have done then we put a compass point a pin at B then we draw another arc to intersect the first arc so the point of intersection is C so we now connect AC and we connect BC as well. So let's level that point, point C. Now we have to measure and state the value of angle BAC. So use your protractor and measure like this. And you can see that the value of the angle is 40 degrees. You can see it 0, 10, 20, 30, and it is on the 40 degrees. Therefore, angle BAC is equal to 40 degrees. Here we have the B part of the question. The diagram below shows an equilateral triangle FGH whose base is 13 centimeters and its height H. Calculate the value of H. So since this is an equilateral triangle, FG is 13, so FH will also be 13 centimeters. Similarly, HG is 13 centimeters. So, from this point to this point, will be half of 13, which is 13 over 2, or 6.5 centimeters. So, using Pythagoras theorem, from triangle H, let's say this is N, H and J. We are going to get H squared adding to 13 over 2, which is 6.5 squared. Should be equal to the hypotenuse, which is 13 squared. So H squared plus 42.25. Is equal to 169 so h squared will be equal to 169 minus 42.25 and h squared will give us 126.75 So the value of H taking the positive square root of 126.75, that will give us 
six centimeters. Therefore, h is equal to eleven point two six centimeters. Now let's look at the other parts of the question. Let's look at the C part of the question. The diagram below shows three triangles P, Q, and R. Triangles Q and R are images of triangle P after it undergoes a double transformation. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle P onto triangle R. I, I. The single transformation that maps triangle R onto triangle Q. So, looking at these parts of the triangle, when you move it, two units to the right and four units up, it will fall on triangle R. So, this tells us that the single transformation that maps P onto triangle R is a translation by the vector 2, 4. So, translation by vector 2, 4. Vector 2, 4. Then, we are to also describe the transformation that maps triangle R onto triangle Q. So, triangle R onto triangle Q. Observing this carefully, when we draw a line at x equal 1, x equal 1, you can see that the distance from this line to triangle R is the same as the distance from this line to triangle Q. And you can see this is a reflection. Q is a reflection of R in the line x equal 1. So reflection in the line x is equal to one. So this brings us to the end of question number three of CSEC 2024 paper two.